Back in lesson 27, we said that Judah's protection from Assyria was a, a temporary saving because they, they would eventually be carried off into exile because of their unfaithfulness to God. In lesson 29, close to 150 years after lesson 27, we'll see what God promised come to fruition. At this time, Assyria is no longer the dominant superpower. Now that title goes to Babylon. And God uses Babylon to carry his people into captivity. In this lesson, we'll see how God's word is often treated. People don't want to hear the truth of what God has to say. Jeremiah was ignored and even attacked for bringing the message that God told him to bring. But whether the people or the rulers listened to God's prophets or not, God did what he said he would do. Despite these dire circumstances, we will see God being faithful to his promises. Unlike Assyria, Babylon will not dice up the people and separate them and spread them out all over the world. Under Babylon's rule, the people of Judah will largely stay together, even in exile. We'll see a bit of that life in Lesson 30 with Daniel and his fellow believers. But because God kept his people together, they will then be able to return at a later date. And the promise of a Savior made to Abraham so many years ago will still be kept. And over the next several lessons, we're going to see how God kept that promise. Open your Bible and read through the sections of Scripture or listen to the narration video. Once you've read or listened to all the sections from this lesson, please complete the assignments for our next class. And don't forget to study your memory work. God's blessings on your work.